Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Now, as your therapist, I have to say this. Ash Links is gone and never coming back. Yes, I'm sure after all these years, we've all accepted the fact that there is no moving on from his death. But what if I told you that there might be a way? Something that we haven't tried before. Maybe we can't move on because his soul is not at peace. He hasn't reached the afterworld. That's why his spirit is causing us such emotional distress. Which is why I've decided to do a dane for Ash Links. I don't know how to spell this, but it's something that we Malaysian singlish people do for our deceased family members. Where we prepare the food they enjoyed when they were alive and serve it to their photo on their death anniversary. Now some singlish people might be like, Josh, that's wrong. I'm Malaysian. Malaysian singlies, half singlies. My grandparents were born here, great grandparents born here. So Malaysian singlies people, we just do things differently. I've explained this before. I may come from a Catholic family, but because we are singlies, there are a few Buddhist traditions that we do since it's a part of our culture. So yeah, I'm gonna do a dane for Ash. So I did a lot of research, watched episode after episode, reliving the pain and heartbreak to prepare this dane menu. I also referred to manga panels and even examined official art for this menu. Had some of you guys helping me out through Instagram. Thank you very much. I had to prepare the menu for breakfast, lunch, tea time, and dinner. And this was quite a hard task because all Ash ever ate were vegetables. No wonder he died. Oh my god, no. I'm so sorry. Now that I had my menu all set, it was time to go shopping. By the way, if there are any singlish people watching this, please don't get offended. So I went to the supermarket to buy some ingredients, but I felt lost as soon as I entered because I had never gone to the supermarket before. And this was my first time shopping on my own. I immediately hit at this corner because I didn't want people to know that I was lost. To them, I look like Kevin McAllister going shopping in the first Home Alone movie. Yeah, that's what they see. But I was able to spot the cherry tomatoes. We were off to a good start. Now I had to get some sort of cabbage thingy thing thing. But these green stuff, they all look the same. Can you feel how lost I felt? And then my eyes caught sight of another thing on the list. Yogurt? But why the hell was it all the way on the other freaking side? Resist the urge to smack the rice. Resist the urge to smack the rice. Resist the urge. I had to smack it. Yeah, I took the teeny tiny one. It's for Ash. I'm not gonna waste my money buying a huge tub, okay? Oh look, we found the sour cream, guys. Now where's the shrimp? Where's the shrimp? Where is the shrimp? So I gave up and decided to find the spaghetti stuff. Then I found my tuna for the norimaki. And we are back on this side. So I had to find the avocado, so I tossed my pride aside and asked the lady working there. Assalamualaikum. Oh wait, she's Indian. And she was like, There, I can see from here. It's written avocado. And I'm like, There. Where? There? Where? And so I just aimlessly walked to where she pointed. All hope lost. I was losing my resolve as the clock ticked. I was never gonna find the main ingredient to Ash's favorite dish. Oh, there. Found it. And then I found the salad area and I was so tempted to buy the pre-made set. But for the sake of Ash, I wanted to make it special for Ash. So I just got this random cabbage thingy thing thing. As long as it's healthy, right? Then I found the shrimp. Now what's the difference between prawns and shrimp? Huh? And now my mindless walking continued. I was now searching for the cashier. <laughs> Found it. And with that, we were done. Oh, no, no, we had to go back. Forgot something. Time to go to the non-halal area. Muslims watching this, close your eyes. Wait, is it haram to watch someone else go inside the non-halal area? Imagine if this was just called the haram area. Because <laughs> technically it is. Just imagine the star with a huge text saying haram. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, I was here to buy bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. And with that, we were finally done with our nope. I still had to stop by Daiso to buy that norimaki rolling thingy thing. You see, I'm not intentionally looking at people's booties. I didn't notice I was holding the camera that low. Okay, you nasty. And I found it. This is the correct one, right? Sushi, sushi rolling set. Now, I know Ash Lynx is a fictional character. <gasps> Who said that? But I was gonna do this dane like a real dane. So I did everything that I used to see Archie and my mom doing for my grandfather's dane. The whole waking up early, preparing the table. Who wakes up at this time on a weekend? Now the breakfast menu was very simple. I fried him some bacon. I like bacon. So yeah, I fried him some bacon, a sunny side up egg. Now what's the difference between sunny side up and bullseye? Can someone explain? A glass of milk, a store-bought croissant, croissant, and a bowl of yogurt. Now I forgot to buy strawberries, so I used a cherry tomato. Smart, huh? Now this was all as seen in episode 18. No salad yet? Oh, and I actually forgot to buy flowers, but luckily after driving around, we came across an Indian dude and his stall. The Malaysian Indians use a lot of flowers for their religious stuff, so it's normal to see them selling flowers by the roadside. Thank God for that, because this was a last minute thing. I came home, placed the flowers in a vase, and it was time to serve breakfast.
Breakfast is served. I'll just go watch some Sesame Street to learn English. <laughs> Okay, so actually we're also supposed to eat the food that was made because usually for my grandfather's dani, the house will be full because you're supposed to invite relatives, neighbors, colleagues, anyone that you can find to come over, eat the food in memory of the deceased. So, uh, bon appetit! I then started working on lunch. I started off with frying the shrimp. Aren't shrimps the cockroaches of the sea? We cringe at people eating insects, but here we are eating shrimp! Question, did Ash have an eating disorder? Because all he ever ate was salads. He was always watching what he ate. Kinda sad. So this was my first time cutting an avocado. I had seen it being done numerous times by other humans and I just wanted to professionally try doing it myself. Opening it up was fine. I was happy it was a success. But I couldn't take that nutty nut thing out. It wasn't coming out. In the name of Jesus, just don't. I command you to leave. Be gone. Brambos. I. <laughs> it wasn't coming out. And then it cracked. I just, I just wanted to do it like the professionals, okay? Where did I go wrong? But finally, after all that hard work, I had exercised the demon. This avocado was clear. Now it was time to professionally, 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 goop it up. I gave up at this point. Sorry if I made avocados unappetizing to you guys. I didn't mean it. Why does it look like crap? I'll just slap a filter on. Yeah, there, fixed it. Then I poured the porridge as seen in the manga panel where Ash says he liked Japanese porridge with green onions porridge that I totally made myself, you know, I didn't buy it or anything. <laughs> Who buys it for a dane? Some marshmallows as seen in this poster. A banana! Banana! This was my first time peeling a banana because this is a fruit that I despise the most. I felt like puking when I was attempting to peel this out. Castration complete apples as seen in episode 3 and a cup of coffee from episode 8. Now some of you might be wondering what happens to the breakfast food just now Josh? You're not gonna just waste it and throw it away. Now once again I'm not sure how the original singlies people do but for Malaysian singlies or at least in my family you're supposed to put it all in one plate and place it outside for the peritio to eat. Now who are the peritio? <clears throat> I have no idea. When I was young, if I ever gobbled down my food, Archie would say, Peretio age epakana. Don't eat like the peretio. By the way, this spelling is just a made up spelling. I do not know how to spell any of the Singhalese language. So because of this, I thought a peretio was a gluttonous person. But then during my grandfather's dane, I would ask Archie, Archie, me kem a kauta kanni? Peretio kano. So is it the hungry souls? Did Archie just compare me to a hungry soul? So yeah, you just leave it outside and the peritio will eat it. The hungry souls will eat it, I think. If there are any Singlish people watching this, peritio means su kauta. So yeah, we just leave it outside for the peritio, the hungry souls, I think. But then the birds can eat it, stray cats and dogs can eat it. Can dogs eat bacon though? <gasps> Okay, usually for a dane, you're supposed to play songs that the deceased enjoyed when they were alive. Which is why I have this. Not sponsored, they just sent this to me for free. So everything that I say is my own personal opinion. So what is this? Look at this adorable packaging. Ah! I kept seeing this on Instagram on a lot of people's desks, but I actually had no idea what it was. It looked like this mini retro game thingy thing, right? But turns out this is a portable Bluetooth speaker that you can also play some of the old school games like Snake, Tetris and all that. It can be used as an alarm clock or to listen to internet radio stations, answer calls and of course the cute cute pixel art. I was planning to unbox this for another big video that I'm working on, but then I was like, I'm gonna need music for Ashes Dane, why not use this then? So it didn't take me long to figure out the functions of these keys because it's also in the manual. So this brings us to the menu and the tiny lever is like an enter key so if I click this it brings me to the menu. Use the left right arrow keys to choose music, pixel art, settings, alarm clock and games. So wait let's let's play a game. I was quite excited to play with this. I mean I just saw this on people's desks but when I found out what it was it was kind of exciting. The plus and minus keys are for volume, this one's the pixel art, and then check this out. Oh my god, keyboard light effects. How cool! There's also an app which you can get from Play Store. Just gotta add my device, and now let's choose a pixel art. Yeah, they have a whole pixel art community. So you can choose whatever you want to see being portrayed here. Now let, let me find if there's a banana fish one. Oh, there's one of Ash. You can also create your own pixel art or animation through the app. It'll appear on the screen as you draw. This is just a lollipop, okay? You're nasty. So I decided to use an image of the Ash Nandroid and then turn it into a pixel art. Then I changed a few things up and animated his eyes. Like I said on Instagram, the only time we'll ever see him blink in this lifetime. Now for the sound check.
So now that we have lunch prepared, there's something extra special we're going to have to do. Okay, so usually for my grandfather's dane, according to Archie, it's the family members that must be the ones to serve the food. Which is why in Ash's case, because Eiji was his only family. Yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram and everyone voted for the other bowl. So with lunch already served, I decided to work on tea time. I thought this was going to be the easiest, but you'll see in a second what happened. So for tea time, I decided to make norimaki as seen in episode 11. Now when I was researching for this, I got confused. What's the difference between this and the Korean kimbap? It looks the same! The feeling is also kind of the same, right? Who stole whose? Why do I make food look so unappetizing? Anyways, I was just following the recipe, but I think I put too much cause yeah, that happened. I even used the wrong side of the wooden thingy thing. <laughs> I have angered an entire nation. I'm a humiliation. I attempted this so many times. But then I discovered a secret to make it a little thicker to prevent spillage and cut as fast as possible. I tried my best. Some look thick, some look thin. But we don't care. Please, if there are any Japanese people watching this, which I hope there aren't, I'm sorry. Then I mixed in a cup of tea and voila. For dinner, I have something special. Not that special, but still something. For dinner, I made spaghetti. Quite simple. I was planning to make omurice based on the photos, but some of y'all said that it wasn't that. So I went with pasta, spaghetti, since I did see it on the table in this photo and in episode 3. Why does it look like shit? I just wanted it to look nice. I'll slap on a filter and make it look nice. There. So I served that together with the balance from lunch and tea time. Now some of you guys were smart enough to catch on with what I was doing, but most of y'all were confused. Oh, and I will say that I only put food out for the periodic during breakfast because I didn't want to waste food so but we'll just pretend we fed the peretio whoever they are dinner is served finally I'm so tired I'm so full I've been doing this the entire day those who follow me on Instagram are aware you know I've been sharing snippets here and there now let's get to the main point of this video the whole reason we did this dane we went through all this trouble making the food that he liked for what to send him off. We want his spirit to go to the other side. So that we can be in peace. How long are we going to be bound by these shackles? So the question is, did it work? Are we going to finally move on? Will his spirit leave us alone? You know what? I think I just made it worse. 